Hey guys, tonight on Butte Geek Nation, we're going to be looking at Lindemann's Cuvée Rene Goose. Hey guys, welcome to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris Stelz. Um, tonight we're looking at kind of something special, something little uh, you don't see too much. Um, as far as the style goes, I'd say you can get this beer pretty readily, but it's a Goose, which is a uh, Flemish beer. It's basically a... It's a wild beer. Basically, um, yeast is just allowed to ferment the beer um, in open tanks. So it's basically the will of the wild, as they say, to kind of make what the beer turns into. Um, the, the kind of the cool part about that is that being that uh, certain regions in Belgium are known for certain varieties of yeast that you know are in the flowers and the, the pollen and the fields and all that stuff. So each one, each goose or each lambic that goes through open fermentation is going to have a different flavor depending on the brewery that it comes from. Um, this particular goose is called Cuvée Rene. It's from Lindemann's, which um, I'm sure most people have had Lindemann's Frambois. Um, I know that was my first lambic I've ever had. Um, they take a lot of crap for being, you know, a blended uh, sweetened lambic, but it's still great stuff. Their peach one, I really enjoy. Um, I've had better ones, sure, but those are, you know, really good entry-level Lambic beers, um, and I'm not going to complain about them. But this one, uh, the Cuvée Rene, is actually their only unblended Lambic, meaning it's, you know, straight off the boat kind of Lambic recipe formulation. Uh, wild yeast are basically allowed to ferment in open fermentation tanks, and that's how you get a goose. Traditionally, it's Brettomyces yeast, which are... Uh, winemakers kind of their nightmare yeast. It's what winemakers don't want because it makes whatever it ferments, the byproducts are going to be sour. It's lactic acid, acetic acid, um, are basically byproducts of the yeast production. And that's what causes the sour, I mean, to get the sour flavor, which is a style character of uh, a goose. Um, it's a sour beer. So when people say, you know, sour beer, sour beer this, sour beer that, that's what they're talking about. It's usually a Bertomyces based yeast in the beer causing that sourness. Um, this beer comes in at 5% so it's you know a really good summertime beer, nice light beer to drink. Um, it's Friday night here, just got home from work so I think this would be a good one to try out. So uh, let's get this in the cup and I'll let you know how it is. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, pour, um, this thing's a really carbonated beer, um, which is stylistic, uh, which is characteristic to the style. So that's what you expect on a, a goose. Um, it was about two fingers worth of head when it was all said and done. Um, the color, you know, it's a nice, it's a gorgeous orange. Uh, a lot of carbonation, almost looks like champagne, to tell you the truth. A little bit hazy, that's going to be from, you know, the wild yeast and all that stuff. It's to be expected again. Um, when I opened the, uh, the bottle, it does have a cork, so you do need a cork, uh, cork screw before you get into this thing. Um, I got a faint whiff of the sour. And I was a little bit, I was a little bit surprised because I didn't think I would get that, um, right out of the bottle. I've only ever had one or two other, um, sours. Uh, the one I believe was an Allagash, and I had one of these before, about, eh, about six months ago. I don't remember the, being that sour, I, um. I remember light citrus notes, and I was getting that. Just right now, I'm smelling a little bit of light citrus. Kind of like a... Well, I'll, I'll get into it here before I... Yeah. The first thing you smell on these, on this particular goose, is a... Uh, it's like a... I don't know how to describe it other than, like, a wet field. Um, it's like a, a wet field, like a wet citrus field, like a citrus grove after like a rain. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but that's to me what it smells like. Um, it is barnyardy and horse blankety, as they say. It's kind of got like a like a must, almost like a like a farm smells um, when you catch it, you know, off in the distance in the summer or something. Uh, there is a little bit of that. It doesn't smell like calamine or anything, but you know, it definitely a little bit of that. Like it's that funk. It's the Brettomyces, uh, you know, the barnyard funk, as they say. That's what it is. I mean, that's the character of the yeast. That's what the yeast love to do in these beers, and that's why these beers are what they are, sours. 
I don't smell any of the sour, but I'm getting citrus, I'm getting earthiness, a ton of earthiness, a little bit of malt, a um, little bit of breadiness biscuit. It's going to be from the Belgian malts they use. Um, a little bit of sour, but mostly it's the earthy, kind of earthy, organic, barnyardy with a little bit of citrus. So it's like somebody's trying to put an air freshener in a barn, if you can <laughs> imagine that. You gotta kinda be ready for that one. <laughs> um, you forget how sour they are if you don't drink a lot of them. You forget how sour they actually are uh, in between them. And again, I haven't had one for about six months. But it's it's good. It's good. It doesn't taste like beer. It reminds me of like a sour champagne almost. Um, if you took lemonade and mixed it with a sh uh, champagne and put some orange in there, that's kind of what it tastes like. Up, up front, you get a little hot bitterness, but you're, the sour just boom, pounds you in your mouth. As it gets to the back of the tongue, sourness goes down a little bit, but you also get the sweetness from the malt, which is interesting. I didn't think I'd get that out of this, but it's definitely there. You get a lot of citrus. Um, I don't get any of the barnyardy full taste. I get more spiciness, a um, little bit more citrus in the taste than in the smell. Uh, yeah, it's spicy, it's malty, it's like grainy, biscuity. It's good stuff, and it's really sour at first, but it's not overpowering. If you've never had a goose, this is a great entry level goose. It's not over the top sour. Um, it, it's just really it's it's a it's a clean beer. It's a really well balanced beer. The other thing I get a lot of, and some people get it, some people don't. I get apple that like the skin of an apple, the way like an apple smells when you eat it or bite into it. I get that in this, and again, that's the Brettomyces yeast doing that. And it's, it's interesting. Not everybody gets that, but I definitely get it in this, even, especially when I'm starting to drink it. And as it warms up now a little bit, I'm, I'm getting it even more. Um, but yeah, it's, like I said, it's uh, Lindemann's, it's Rene Cuvée. Interesting fact, Rene Cuvée, uh, Cuvée Rene, uh, it's actually named after Rene Lindemann's, the uh, owner of uh, Lindemann's Brewing. Um, it's imported by Merchant Duvin, so it's, you know, it's, it's readily available throughout the country. It's one of the most readily available uh, Lambic brands in the country, I'm sh if not the most. Um, you can get it pretty much anywhere. I've never had a problem getting it. Um, and it's, you know, it's, that's saying a lot for Pennsylvania. But I definitely recommend it on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it an 8, an 8.5. Eight um, it's not a beer you could drink a lot of. It's a great summertime beer. It's going to clean your palate after like a big meal or something. It would be great for that. Um, even be good for breakfast, to tell you the truth. If you weren't eating like a fancy breakfast or something, you know, eggs, Benedict or something like that. It would be great with that. Um, kind of break the fat down and all the holiday sauce and everything. But other than that, I think it's a really good beer. Um, and if you've never tried a Goose, I highly recommend it. Honestly, any of the Lindemann stuff, Rambois, the Peche, any of that, it's, it's good stuff. If you've never had a Lambic, I highly recommend it. Um, it's, it's a good starting point. So with that said, until next time, cheers.